The Ragnarok class is one of the most common starships in the universe, serving as picket ships, light warships, heavy scouts, and the design even boasts a long history as an excellent exploratory vessel, before universal cartography rendered the profession obsolete. The Ragnarok class frigate was designed during the epistemic age, many years before the War of the Demiurge. Originally given the designation of the Satra class, the design was started as a speculative concept piece for recreational wargaming. At the time, no significant conflict had been fought for millennia, and as such there was very little understanding of practical combat for the designers to go on, meaning aesthetics took priority over function. Regardless of this fact, the Ragnarok class has proven quite capable in real combat scenarios, and the design has changed very little from its inception. The frigate is equipped with two turret-mounted weapons, a dorsal dual-barrel plasma cannon as well as a ventral quad-repeating cannon. A single volley from either of these cannons is often enough to vaporize an unshielded starfighter or severely damage most smaller starships. This is an alteration from the original design of the Ragnarok class, which featured merely low-power mixed laser particle batteries, which produced a brilliant light show that could be used to register hits in wargaming, but were otherwise non-lethal. While these turrets are certainly capable of handling most threats, the Ragnarok class stands out for its use as a carrier. With the forward portion of the vessel being dedicated entirely to a hangar bay and an additional docking umbilical. The Ragnarok can quickly deploy a not insignificant complement of mixed starfighters, stompers, tanks, or other small craft. The ventral hangar, in its default configuration, is more than capable of carrying a pair of stomper units into battle. This can be easily modified to instead carry a number of fighter craft, or even tanks. A curious feature unique to the Ragnarok class is that the hangar bay doors are designed to be sturdy enough to withstand attacks from the outside, but are extremely fragile from the inside. This was very much done intentionally to allow the units held within the hangar to detach and smash through the potentially jammed or otherwise inaccessible doors. This does of course require a degree of caution for operators during non-emergency situations, as an accident could potentially vent the entire hangar and its contents into space. Thankfully, any personnel who endure this will have quite an interesting and unique demise, as their bodies boil and dissolve in the vacuum of space. The docking umbilical is primarily used for holding fighters, replenishing their oxygen and fuel reserves, as well as reloading any ammunition through a specialized omniloader built into the umbilical. This umbilical can also be used to dock with larger starships or space stations. For flight, the Ragnarok class is equipped with six engines mounted in threes on each side of the starship. There are two primary engines with four small supplementary engines. Massive actuators allow the engines to quickly rotate in flight, giving the Ragnarok a significant advantage in maneuverability, as well as allowing it to hover in planetary gravity wells. In atmosphere, the engines are powerful enough to accelerate the vessel to 900 km per hour, depending on the condition of the shield generators. In total, the vessel comes equipped with three shield generators, a primary generator buried below the command center, as well as a pair of deflectors on the nose of the ship. This redundancy helps to ensure that the craft will always be shielded, even in the case of catastrophic failure of one or even two of the generators. The shield generators themselves are capable of absorbing up to 500 gigajoules of incoming energy per second. As well as preventing incoming harm, the invisible shield bubble produced by the generators pushes air particles out of the way of the vessel, giving it much better aerodynamics than its shape would traditionally allow. This shield system protects the craft during atmospheric re-entry as well. The power draw this requires is relatively intense, and the frigate is much more vulnerable to incoming damage during and briefly after re-entry. 
As the shields block both energy and physical matter, small gaps are temporarily opened during boarding, docking, firing of the weapons, or when the hangar bays are in use. Passing through this shield at any time it is active is considered inadvisable. For crew, the Ragnarok class carries a pilot, a navigator, two gunners, and a communications officer. The command center, which houses the pilot, navigator, and communications officer, is located deep in the ship's hull, making it effectively impossible to destroy without also destroying the entire vessel. The gunners are each situated just under the ventral turret and just above the ventral turret. Crew quarters are moderately spacious, with enough room to comfortably fit an additional two passengers. In an emergency, the vessel can tenuously fit up to 20 additional passengers, with the strained life support system capable of keeping them breathing for several days without replenishment. Due to the unusual configuration of the hangar bay, it is not advisable for passengers to be stored in that area of the ship. Under extraordinary circumstances, the vessel requires only a single operator to function at minimal capacity. Overall, the Ragnarok class is used by all factions within the universe, but is most popular with exuberance and stoicists. It is most uncommonly seen in use by the hedonists, but is certainly not at all rare in their ranks.